What's up YouTube, down in the smartphone guy, coming back at you with another video, and tonight we're gonna to take a look at two mid-range devices that probably have more in common than they have different, um, but we're gonna go ahead and compare these two in this video, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and slide the boxes off to the side, and we're gonna talk about um, some specs and things like that. So first of all, I picked this one up at Best Buy for $300. Um, probably better to pick it up at Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description, but I picked it up for $300. You can pick it up for as little as $185 if if you get the ad supported Amazon version. Um, and then the Xiaomi I picked up, the 4X, I picked up for $170 at gearbest.com. Links will be down in the description if you're interested in picking up either of these devices. So with that being said, uh, some similarities and differences. Uh, first of all, this is the three gig of RAM version with 32 gigs of onboard storage. It is available in four gigs, 64 gig configuration as well. This is the four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of onboard storage version of the G5 Plus, and then this one's also available with two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of onboard storage, which is the $185 version. So with that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and jump into some things that maybe are comparable with these two things and some differences. So first thing I want to talk about is the build quality. So in terms of build, they both have kind of like a semi-metallic, um, well, they do have a metallic backing. Um, this one has a metallic or aluminum casing here, and then it has the plastic on the tops and the bottom, so a lot like the Honor 4X, or 6X, sorry, and uh, it has a 5.5 inch LCD display on the front, and uh, we have a five megapixel camera on the back, or front, and then 13 megapixel camera on the back. Um, the Moto G uh, 5 Plus has that 12 megapixel camera on the back. You can see it also has dual LED flash, just like this one. It has the fingerprint sensor at the bottom of the front, and then it has a five megapixel camera up front as well. This one has a 5.2 inch display. So in terms of the build quality, um, I would say the G5 Plus probably has a little bit more unique characteristics. I'm not a huge fan of this big camera hump, which we'll go ahead and show you that. You can probably see it sticks out quite a bit. Um, with a case, it's probably not a big deal, um, but I'd probably give the edge to the Xiaomi, the Note 4X here, um, simply because it's just kind of a simple device. Um, maybe slightly boring uh, build quality to it, um, but overall I would say this one's just slightly better partially because of that screen. I kind of prefer that larger 5.5 inch display. Um, so with that being said, let's jump into performance. So performance wise, I don't think you're gonna see much of a difference. And obviously, honestly, <laughs> um, I should say, um, I think that these things have a whole lot in common in terms of performance. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some real world, I guess this isn't real world, but um, we're gonna jump into Geekbench just to show you their actual scores here. So we'll go into the most recent scores for each one. Um, so you can see that clearly uh, the Moto G5 Plus wins that in terms of the multi-core score, slightly higher score in the Note 4X in terms of single core score. They both have the Snapdragon 625. This one's running Android 7.0. And this one's running Android 6.0.1. And they both have the same Adreno 506 GPU. Um, so I think the difference here being this one has three gigs of RAM, this one has four gigs of RAM is probably where we're seeing the differences here. And then also the operating system as well. So Android 7.0 versus Android 6.0.1. So that's probably where you're gonna see the difference. Otherwise they're running the exact same Snapdragon processor, which is a fantastic processor. You're not gonna see much lag in any I honestly have not had any lag in either of these devices, so that's a huge plus for both of them. One other thing I want to mention here before I get too far into this video is that this one um, is unlocked for all carriers in the United States. You'll get LTE service with all four carriers, all the four major carriers. This one is only GSM unlocked, so it'll work for AT&T and T-Mobile. However, you will not get LTE in certain areas. You can see here that I actually have HSPA Plus right now, um, and that's because in my area, um, T-Mobile uses band 12, and this does not support band 12. So kind of a big deal for some people. So something worth mentioning. Next thing I wanna talk about is the battery life. So this one has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. This one has a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. With that being said, both of these phones have phenomenal battery life. Um, I'm typically getting with the Moto G5 Plus around Mm, let's say six hours of screen on time is pretty much the average. Whereas with the Xiaomi, anywhere from eight to 10 hours of screen on time. And that's because of that larger battery. So with that being said, both of these phones have excellent battery life. Um, the performance is excellent as well. 
but battery life would have to go to the Xiaomi as well. Um, performance, I forgot to say, would go to the Moto G5 Plus. Um, but either way, battery life on both of these is phenomenal. Thumbs up to both of these phones for battery life. Um, in terms of cameras, uh, kind of a mixed bag here. So um, you can see here I'm actually using uh, the non-stock camera app here for the uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note 4X here. And the reason for that is because uh, it doesn't allow you to shoot in 4K in the um, original uh, camera app on that phone. So uh, that's why I switched over to uh, this other camera FX or whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into some pictures. So one of the things I want to mention here is that the, this one has a 12 megapixel camera, 13 megapixel camera. When you're going to look at these pictures, you'll probably notice that this one kind of over brightens a lot of pictures. And I'm going to show you these pictures as well at the end, uh, looking a little bit um, a better look at them. Um, but I would say overall, the camera details are pretty similar, but this one definitely over brightens pictures a lot. So actually the easiest way to see that is in this picture here where you can see this is the LG G6, the always on screen. You can see it like turned it almost blue, kind of weird. Whereas this one has a more natural look to it. You can tell that pretty much looks the same as it does here. So I'm not exactly sure why that is, but if you notice, like all the pictures over here look a lot brighter. So again, I'm going to go ahead and throw those pictures up at the end so you can compare them side by side. Um, but again, both of them have good details, but the Xiaomi definitely over brightens pictures. Um, something in the post-production, I think. Um, and there's some front facing shots there as well. Both have five megapixel cameras on the front. Um, but for cameras, I'm definitely going to give the win here to the G5 Plus um, because it has more natural looking pictures. Um, next thing I want to talk about is software. Software for me is a clear winner. Now you can see here that I'm running Nova Launcher on both of these devices, so they're going to look almost identical. But when you go into the settings, you'll see some pretty big differences. So um, Xiaomi adds a lot of extra um, little things to their software. And again, this is Android 6.0, this is Android 7.0, whereas Moto has a more stock feel but with some tweaks that make it very useful. So for instance, we have that double chop to, whoops, to turn the flashlight on. We can swipe it to turn the camera on. So kind of a quick flick there. Um, so some very useful tweaks to Android 7.0, whereas Xiaomi also has some nice tweaks, but they kind of overdo it a little bit. So I'm just gonna mention a couple of the things that are very worth mentioning. So dual apps. So that's kind of cool because you might have some apps that maybe you want two accounts for. So like Facebook, for instance, you might have two accounts and that dual apps allows you to have two completely different accounts running on the same phone without having to log in and out of one of them. So that's kind of a nice option there. Um, and then we also have, if I can find it here, the second space almost gives you almost like a whole nother desktop basically on your phone, which is kind of cool. Um, but other than that, uh, some useful things, but overall, I would easily give the win in terms of software to um, the G5 Plus. Just a more simple version of Android, uh, less heavy version of Android as well. So easily the Moto G5 Plus wins on the software. Next thing I wanna talk about is the speaker. So I actually have a, a song queued up here. I'm gonna put it right up to my microphone um, so you guys can hear the differences, but um, we're gonna go ahead and start with the Xiaomi here. Okay, so that's a bottom firing speaker down here. And uh, I would say overall for me, uh, it, it gets kind of loud. Um, it's not too bad in terms of how loud it is, um, but it definitely distorts when you turn it way up. So that's what you probably could hear, I'm sure, through my microphone. Um, the second one is the G5 Plus. This one has a um, top firing speaker right up here. And uh, so we'll go ahead and put that one right up next to my microphone so you can hear that one as well. Okay. So neither of them are particularly loud, but I will say that I easily prefer the Moto G5 Plus for the speaker simply because it's front firing, but then also because of the fact that it doesn't distort the sound as much as the Xiaomi at the highest volume. 
So the speaker goes to the Moto G5 Plus. So with that being said, uh, we've covered all of the major bases on these two devices. Um, overall, which one do I think is the better buy? Well, it kind of depends. So first of all, if you're looking for the better cameras, I'd go for the Moto G5 Plus. If you're looking for the better software, easily, again, the Moto G5 Plus. If you're looking for LTE support in the United States, the Moto G5 Plus. So, so far, easily the Moto G5 Plus wins. Now, if you live outside of the United States, you are gonna get LTE with almost any carrier. Um, and so maybe the Xiaomi might be better for you. And even if, maybe if you're okay with H HSPA Plus service, then the Xiaomi could be the better device for you as well. So I would say if battery life is important to you, then the Xiaomi uh, with its six to eight hours of screen, on, actually eight to 10 hours of screen on time, probably the better device. And in terms of price, again, the cheapest version of this one, which has lower specs is $185, whereas right now you can pick this one up for $170 on gearbest.com. So which device is better for you? Well, I would say for me, it's the Moto G5 Plus. However, both of these devices have their reasons and I think both of them are excellent devices. So worth checking out. Again, links will be down in the description. Thanks for watching. If there's anything I didn't cover that you'd like to know more about, go ahead and leave those down in the comment section and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.